the impeachment hearing is going right into the judiciary system. Well, we already know where this is going. And all through this time, Donald Trump and the GOP have said repeatedly, you know, over and over and over and nausea, that they're not getting their due process in court. The impeachment hearing is going on and they're saying that they're not getting due process. They're not getting their chances to reveal their evidence. And it feels like a witch hunt. If you're sick of this, you know where this is going. Now, keep this in mind. This is the impeachment hearing. This is to decide whether or not Donald Trump has committed these these felonies, these high crimes and misdemeanors, and to see if this is impeachable. Now, when, if, he, if he is impeached, that does not mean he's automatically removed from office. It goes to the Senate, and for the most part, it looks like the Senate is going to say, Donald Trump did nothing wrong, um, we say not guilty, in a case, in like five minutes. That's all they're going to say. And Donald Trump will go like, ha, look at that, I was unimpeached by the Senate, I was unimpeached by the Senate, I can be another... I can be president for as long as I want. You do not get impeached by the Senate. That's a total lie. If you've ever looked at the Constitution, if you would look at the 25th Amendment, oh, that's right, you and the GOP don't care about the Constitution. And don't get me started on the Second Amendment because you don't even follow that either. But they keep, I mean, you have everyone going out, uh, I remember the Republican Party going out and saying, look, we're not getting our due process. We're not able to testify for the president. We're not able to confront anything. It's even worse now that you, uh, one of the witnesses in the impeachment hearing has implicated a few people, including a member of the impeachment committee, Devin Nunes. I don't know about you, but that doesn't that doesn't mean it's good. So what does this all mean that Trump is doing it? I'm saying, look, it's all a witch hunt. They're not giving me due process. It it's nothing. And here's the thing: when the year when the peop, the impeachment committee hear heard about uh, Trump saying that, oh, I'm not getting my chance to say my thing. The impeaching uh, committee said, well, fine. Why don't you come in and, you know, explain, your, explain yourself. We're not holding anything back. And we're going to let you come in, you know, testify why you think what you did was perfectly legal. Why you think it was necessary. This is an opportunity for the president. And what does he go? No, 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 no I'm not going to testify to you guys. I, why should I testify to you guys? I know you're not giving me due process, but come on. Dude, I, I'm not going to testify because all you're going to do is make me feel like like a loser. They're giving you an open opportunity, and what you're saying is a, it's a complete f you like that. Come on, what you're saying right now is that I don't want to. I'm not getting my due process, but I don't want to do it in front of you guys. They could. If, if you testified and you, what they found was perfectly logical, the impeachment the impeachment hearing would have ended right there, and the impeachment twenty fifth amendment would have been abolished for you. There is so much wrong about that. Let's keep this in mind. Trump is constantly going like. I can do whatever I want. I'm the president of the United States. I have the power. And you have the meeting here in queer saying, like, hold the phone, dude. What we have found is incredibly disturbing, and we need you to come and testify what this is. Trump's going like, no, I don't. I don't need to do anything to you guys. A lot of people on the right are saying that Trump is trying to play three-dimensional chess. He doesn't even know how to play checkers. That's how bad.
bad it is. If he thinks he can just say, hey, they're not giving me due process, but I'm not going to testify. Like, guess what you're doing? You're waving a white flag saying, I did it and I don't care. Trump can't win on this. Now, look, as for the impeachment hearing, it does look like that Trump is going to be undoubtedly impeached by the Judiciary Committee involved in this uh, impeachment hearing. However, it's a, right now it's about timing. And right now, what the committee could do is look into Devin Nunes. This could actually work in actually work in the committee's favor, because not only could Devin Nunes be implicated, he would have to testify. Now, Devin Nunes could go like, well, look, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what Fiona Hill had to say. I, I don't know about Gordon Gordon Sondland. I don't know why he picked me to say that I was involved in this. I, I mean, I'm completely innocent. And he, he could testify. The, the committee could say, okay, we hear you, we hear you. And what comes after that is, well, up to them. But the focus right now is the timing. Right now, it does look like, it does borderline that it is going to be an absolute impeachment by the time 2019 ends. But that could be a bad thing. Now, the reason that Trump is being implicated in impeachment is about the quid pro quo in Ukraine about the Bidens. I could not go, I'm not going to go into detail because, one, it's very convoluted, and those who aren't, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm stupid, I'm just saying the explanation is in there if you looked it up. I'm not going into any other websites. I'm not even going to Fox News for that one. But, if the timing is off, they do impeach him, but the timing is off, the people are going to forget about the impeachment hearing. They're going to forget that Donald Trump had been impeached. And they could actually vote for him in 2020. Now, upon that, they, it looks like Joe Biden, despite the public criticism going around uh, in, with his implication in the uh, quid pro quo, he's still leading the polls. But they could all change uh, in the next few months especially in the February uh, Democratic debate held in Milwaukee. It could be the make or break where we can no longer have Joe Biden, but instead Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren or Kamala Harris. There are a whole bunch of them that are going to come out and say that, hey, I want to be your president for this and this and this. Now, I'm not saying I'm not, and I'm not endorsing anyone, although I wish I could endorse, uh, TYT uh, CEO Jake Uger uh, for the 25th district in California. All I can do is say I support him, and that's it. And I just did. <laughs> Funny how that works. Now, could this be the breaking point? Could this be where Trump finally loses it? Finally, has everyone turned his back? I highly doubt that because. The fact that of the thirty some people, thirty some percentage of the people still supporting him, that sixty four percent say that I'm going to go with Trump no matter what. I don't care that he killed my family. I'm going to support him. I don't care if he uh, foreclosed my home. I'm still going to support him. I don't care that he care that he burned down my city. I'm still going to support him. That's the mentality of the Trump uh, Trump supporters. They don't care what happens to them as long as Trump is their president. Although that might dwindle down significantly if the timing is right, if it goes to February and Trump is impeached then. That's my guess. Otherwise, Trump is just waving that flag saying, I don't care what you got to say. I'm the president. I do what I want. And what you're going to do is shut up.